Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Jenkins on your Windows 11 operating system. So the prerequisite of installing Jenkins is that you need to have Java JDK installed on your Windows operating system. So if you haven't yet installed Java, just install it. The procedure is really simple. If you don't know how to install Java, then I have already created few videos about that so you can watch those videos. And once you have Java on your Windows operating system, we are ready to install Jenkins. So let's start with the download of Jenkins binary. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Jenkins. And the first link which will appear here will be from Jenkins.io. So we are going to click on this link. And once we are on Jenkins.io website, straight away you will be able to see the download button here. You can also see the download link here at the top also. So wherever you see the download link or button, just click on that. So now we are on the downloads page. Now here you have this stable LTS version and the regular releases. So we can uh, just scroll down here where you can see different options for installing Jenkins on various operating systems. So you can see we can install Jenkins with Docker, Kubernetes, Ubuntu Debian uh, and all the other options. So what we want is we want to install Jenkins on Windows. So we will use this Windows version and make sure you are under the LTS version. LTS stands for long term support version, right? So I'm going to click on Windows here. And once you click on the Windows uh, option, this Jenkins.msi file will start downloading. Now, if this MSI file is not downloaded, you can click on this alternate link, which will start the download of this MSI file. So once the MSI file for Jenkins is downloaded, let's click on this file. And if you uh, want, you can read uh, some documentation on the download page itself. And you can see by default Jenkins run at this uh, IP address, which is localhost colon 8080. And then if you want to change some configuration, it can be changed using Jenkins.xml file, right? Let me minimize this browser. So you can see the installer is preparing. And now you can see the Jenkins setup wizard. So let's click on the next uh, button on the first window. This will be the default location where Jenkins will be installed on your Windows operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. So here on the next page, we will see service login credentials. Generally, what I do is I select this option, which is run service as local system. And then later on, I can uh, add the username and password when Jenkins is installed, right? So I'm going to choose the first option here and then click on next. This is the default port on which Jenkins will start. So uh, it's port 8080 right now. If this port is not available, then Jenkins will complain. So it's better to test this port. So just click on test port and this port is available on my Windows operating system. So that's okay. If it gives any error, you can change this port also, right? So once you have provided the port, click on next, and then you need to provide the path of your Java development kit. As I said, I already have installed Java on my Windows 11 operating system. So Jenkins installation has recognized the path of Java automatically. If it doesn't recognize this path, you can uh, just browse this path and uh, change this path also, right? Once uh, that's done, click on next. And at this point, leave everything as default and then click on next. 
and then click on install and then at this point you can see uh, this kind of warning do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device click on yes and the installation of Jenkins will start so now uh, in few seconds the Jenkins setup has been uh, completed and at the end you will see this kind of message which says completed the Jenkins setup wizard and now I can click on the finish button to finish the setup now as you have seen on this web page you can open this URL which is HTTPS localhost port 8080 to uh, open Jenkins so just uh, click on this link here which is going to open this localhost port 8080 and if Jenkins installation is done successfully you will see this kind of web page here now here to unlock Jenkins you need to provide the initial password and this password is present at this path which is shown here so you just need to go to this directory and then open this file here and your initial admin password will be there right so I'm going to just uh, copy this path go to my folder explorer and then open this uh, path here and here I can see initial admin password file I can right click here and then open it with uh, some editor so I have uh, multiple editors here you can choose any editor of your choice I'm going to choose notepad here and then click on OK and then this is the password so this is the initial password so I'm going to copy this password and then paste it here and then click on continue and then you can see customize Jenkins install suggested plugins uh, which is recommended so I'm going to click on uh, this option which says install suggested plugins which is going to install all these suggested plugins like uh, git ldap pipeline uh, workspace cleanup github branch source so all these plugins will be installed so just wait for uh, all those plugins to be uh, installed and once all those plugins are installed uh, you will see this kind of window where you can create a new admin username and password right so here you can create a new username and password let me create uh, that username and password so the username I want to give here is code bind for example and the password I'm going to provide a very simple password here and then I'm going to confirm that admin password and then you can provide the full name here and then the email ID so I have provided all these things username password uh, and then full name and the email and then I'm going to click on save and continue and this is the default uh, IP address and port so you can uh, open your Jenkins on this uh, URL I'm going to click on save and finish and then I'm going to click on start using Jenkins which is going to redirect me to the main Jenkins page right and you can see the username is code bind which I set few seconds ago and this is the Jenkins uh, main page here you can create a new item and then you can view the build history and you can also see the people who have access to the Jenkins and then you have some options to manage Jenkins for example if you want to install some plugins you can install it from here you can change some system settings and other settings you can do from here and then you also have my views so here you can create a new job and uh, then uh, run your uh, build jobs right also let's check whether my username and password is working so I can click on uh, log out and then I can just log in with my username and password again just to check and then I will just click on keep me signed in and click on sign in and the username and password which I have provided 
are working. So from now on, you can start using Jenkins on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.